Hi, today we are going to talk about migration and group membership population. How to migrate groups and members properly. We will start a new migration session and we will migrate a group first. In my source environment I have a couple of groups and a couple of users and those users belong to those groups. I will go and find my source OU and I will select a group. And now we are going to migrate this group. We will specify a destination, target OU. We don't want to migrate any OU, we want to migrate just the objects. We will keep the default settings and we will proceed with our migration. We can enable the target object. We will start our migration session. And after the migration has been finished, we will go to the target domain and have a look at our migrated object. refresh our OU and here is our group. Let's check the group membership. There are no members. I think we just learned an important lesson. If you migrate the group only, the group will be created blank and without members. Because in source my group definitely had some members. Once more, if you just migrate groups without users or if you migrate groups first, they will get created blank without any members. Let's go back to our console and we will migrate a user now. We will use the existing migration session as a template, right mouse in this session and save. Create a migration session and this time we are going to migrate a user. Since this is an old migration session being used as a template I have to remove the old selection and I will go and select the object manually. We are going to migrate one single user. Since we are using a template, we don't have to select anything. We can use all the existing settings and just click Next, Next and Finish. Now we are migrating one user which belongs to, to the group. Object was migrated successfully. Let's go to the target domain and have a look. We will refresh our OU again. We can see our user. Let's check the group membership. The group is still blank. What we have learned? If you migrate a group first and the user later, the group membership will not work. Now we are going to migrate our objects properly. We will go and migrate our group again. We are again using the same old migration session as a template. Basically we are re-migrating the same group. Or we could pretend we never migrated this group in the past and we are just migrating it for the first time. We can see in one unresolved link. Now if we think our source group has two members but we migrated only one user. This makes sense. Now we know what this unresolved link means. We will refresh our target OU and we will have a look at the group membership again. We can see the user is a member of this group. 
this means if you migrate the user first and the group later it works fine or if you migrate the group first the users later and it doesn't work we just re-migrate the group and it will work fine now we are going to migrate our objects properly when we say properly we mean we should migrate the users and groups together only then we can expect the group membership to work as expected let's say today I'm going to migrate my groups QMM offers a nice feature I can select all groups to which those users belong as you can see the tool automatically found and selected all the groups I will cancel and now I will go and select my groups and I will do the opposite let's say today I have to migrate few hundred of my groups it will be a tedious task to go and find the members but the tool offers relief I will go and configure the tool to go and automatically found, find all users as you can see the tool is smart enough to go and resolve the group membership it will find and select all users which belong to those groups we specify a destination OU we leave the default settings group option usually you don't have to select this checkbox it does exactly what it says add source users to the target group if you select this checkbox you will see in your target group that not only the target users are members of those groups the tool will also add the source users they will appear with a red arrow as foreign security principles this is usually not needed by default the tool will populate the groups you don't have to select this checkbox this checkbox is for rare scenarios only for example if you have distribution lists and you want the mails to be delivered to the source objects in this case you would want the target group to contain source members now we are migrating our users and groups in one single migration session all together as you can see it was successful and we don't have any unresolved links because the migration was done properly now we will go to our target domain and have a look at our migrated users and groups as you can see the group contains all the members let's check another group all members are present let's have a look at our users the tool resolved the group membership properly and this user is also a member of two groups this means migrating users and groups together in one, in one single migration session takes care of group membership population we don't absolutely need to migrate all users and groups together in one session we can still migrate them separately and then we can use the synchronization synchronization will always take care of group membership population but in order for synchronization to work properly and to resolve all the members we need to make sure that all our groups and users included in synchronization scope and that we allow the tool to synchronize the object class user and group and we also need to make sure we are not skipping any important attributes like group type member of etc in this case synchronization is our helper it will always populate the groups with members and it doesn't matter which object has been migrated first or later.